Hey everybody! This is freaking glorious. What a piece of forest. Just fantastic. Uh, my mind is blown just thinking of the possibilities of an owl being in this forest. Uh, and that's what I'm doing out here. I'm looking for owls. So it's July and uh, I had a busy June with workshops. Thanks everybody, uh, all my participants that joined me on workshops. We had an awesome June and a great group of uh, people. So thanks for coming along on those. Uh, also, my kids are in town uh, for like four and a half weeks for the summer. So I've been spending time with them and doing workshops and I haven't been getting out into this kind of magnificence lately. So I'm out here, I'm sweating. Oh yeah, I sweated through my hat. <sighs> It's, uh, I sweat really easily, but I'm hiking way up here in the mountains and it's awesome. So it feels great to be out here and I'm looking for owls and I hope I can find some. The trails have been fantastic. I had to dodge a robin egg in the middle of the trail. That was so far my most exciting moment. But finding like chunks of forest like this is making me really um, happy, if you know what I mean. So I'm gonna keep cruising around out here and looking for owls and anything else, to be honest, like landscape opportunities out here. I love aspen trees, beautiful wildflowers. There's just a lot of potential out here. So I'm gonna keep cruising around. I'll keep you posted, hopefully, when I find something to make a photo or two of. And uh, anyway, I hope I get to make a nice video for you guys today. It's It's been a while since I've been out hiking to make a video. So thanks for following along. I'll uh, let you know what I find up ahead, I've got, uh, I got like four hours of usable light left in the day out here. Mostly sunny, a little cloud just came in and that feels great, cooled it down. So anyway, my hopes are high. Uh, the conditions are spectacular. I just need to find some kind of a, a critter, hopefully one with big giant wings, like a six foot wingspan that wants to cooperate out here. Otherwise, I know I can find some landscapes in these fantastic aspen forests. Uh, so I'm psyched to be out here. I hope you're psyched to join me. And I'm gonna stop rambling, because otherwise you won't be psyched for very long of just me babbling along. I could go all day. I could just ramble about how great it is all day, but I'm not going to. All right, talk to you soon, bye. Right, ladies and gentlemen, it is showtime. Great gray owl. Uh, it's going to be kind of hard to see right in there on the left, left edge of a tree trunk, like 50 yards away. It looks like it's awake and hunting. So I'm going to figure out where to be. I think I want to go that way. The light's coming from that way. It's gonna be tricky light in here. The sun's still pretty high. Um, this is awesome. <laughs> I uh, absolutely adore these owls and to find one in such a beautiful setting. This, this little chunk of forest is quite a ways from the last one. It's not quite as like beautiful aspen-y, but obviously it's mixed, mixed forest in here and it's lovely but I am gonna to need to maneuver around in here to get a better angle on this bird, but it's just awesome. There, let's see, I don't know how to even describe where it is. Right up against that tree, right about there. So hopefully you can see that. If not, I'm gonna move into a position where hopefully this thing will let me make some photos today. I'm gonna to give it plenty of room to start, especially. I'm gonna try and stay like 50 yards away, let it get used to me here for a while, especially while the light isn't that good. So if I let it kind of recognize that I'm just kind of hanging out and not a threat, hopefully as the light gets better, it starts to get more comfortable with me and we'll start, you know, hunting and uh, not really paying attention to me. That's that's would be like the ultimate. That's my goal for the afternoon here. So uh, 
just look around and make sure there's nothing else in the trees right here because I'm kind of like focused on that one but it's so psyched to be in such a beautiful location with a, just a gorgeous animal fantastic bird doesn't get any better than that for me I love this more than anything so anyway uh, I'll keep you posted this is just fantastic up here on a tree not too far away. Uh, I'm double camera strapping here today. I brought the uh, D850 with the 500 millimeter PF lens which is perfect for hiking around. It's lightweight, super sharp. Oh no, she's about to fly and I'm gonna miss it. Maybe. I gotta go fast. No, she psyched me out there. Anyway, and I've also, I've got uh, I hope I don't miss it. I've also got the Z7 with the 70 to 300 millimeter lens on it. Mostly like if, if uh, something happened out here and I could do environmental, oh shoot, she's flying away. Okay, I lost sight of her. I'm gonna start going that way. Uh, but anyway, I've got the Z7 here with me with a 70 to 300 millimeter lens mostly to shoot video with. But uh, now, keeping up with an owl, if, if it's hunting in here, it's gonna be super tricky. Uh, I gotta get lucky to find it again. But uh, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put down the GoPro so I can concentrate on keeping up with this owl. This is excellent. I lost her. She's flying around, hunting. So it's good action. The light's really difficult in here. It's super contrasty with all the white trees and the direct sun, but I'm working on it. Looking for little pockets of shade. Uh, okay, I see her. Yeah, I might need to go, because it looks like this way there could be a good angle on her. Anyway, this is awesome. Love being out in the woods with an owl.
it's magic back here. Uh, I think I'm going to end the video now because the light is just getting good. Can you see the owl right there? There's an owl hunting like 30 yards away. It's fantastic. Uh, I'm going to put the GoPro down, end the video, so I can focus on doing photography for the rest of the evening here. Um, sorry, I didn't have any real like input or teaching moments today, really. It's just uh, great being out here, finding an owl. It smells so good. Like all the wildflowers, the green forest, it's just magic. The light is turning to magic. It's just fantastic with a wild owl. It doesn't get any better than this. So hopefully that's good enough and that you don't need like a teaching moment today. Um, hope you get out and enjoy something like this someday soon because this is, this is magic out here. It's fantastic. So thanks for following along. Have a great day. See you in the next video. Later. There's Owl. Right. Where is she? There. Can you see me? It's pitch dark out, aside from the full moon, which is rising back there. Can you see that? Full moon's given a little bit of light. Wow. I'm blinding myself with my iPhone light. Uh, but anyway, here I am hiking out by the light of the full moon and my iPhone light. I have to stand still or I'm going to trip over something. But um, just wanted to give a quick recap because I kind of ended abruptly there. And, um, just, I, I don't re I was trying to think of if anything magical happened out there tonight, and it really didn't. I mean, other than just the whole scene was magical, but photography-wise, I made some decent photos out there, uh, but nothing like home run, which the setup was perfect for a home run tonight. So I'm feeling like a little disappointed that I didn't get the home run photo, but, uh, I'm also feeling like super psyched to be able to be out here, uh, enjoying the wild and uh, spending time with a wild owl doesn't get much better, if you ask me, uh, in a beautiful forest. So I'm having mixed feelings right now, but uh, overall, super psyched. So uh, again, I'll thank you one more time for watching. Oh my gosh, I just keep about falling over. And um, I'll see you in the next one. So hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, there's some decent um, video footage in there, but I think some mediocre photos. Well, I mean, be better than mediocre, but my standards with great gray owls are pretty high, so. Uh, oh, speaking of which, I'll, uh, I'll give a plug to a couple of uh, uh, people. Well, I'll do one tonight. A plug, uh, Dan the Ripper on Instagram. Uh, incredible owl photography. There's a bunch of really good owl photographers out there, obviously, but uh, Dan the Ripper, look through his feed if you get a, get a chance. I'll link to that below. Um, but his great gray owls and otherwise are just spectacular. So shout out to Dan the Ripper. Man, you're doing killer work. And uh, I love seeing your stuff. So if you get a chance, check out his stuff. Really solid, great stuff. So uh, anyway, take care. See you next time. Bye.